Okay, so in the modern lifting industry, there are different ways, well, lifting points and clamps, attachments. How do you lift something? So if something's on the ground, you can't, you could dig a trench underneath and then wrap a rope around, for instance, or a sling or a chain, but uh, you don't always have that option. And, well, work and safety as it goes now. But there's, well, these are some examples of lifting points. Uh, some will be, you can screw them in, other, others can be welded on. When you see, uh, when they're lifting a heavy beam, that, you know, there'll be often attachments on the heavy beam that are just for lifting. They're not for connecting the, the beam to the structure later. They're lifting points. And so here's some lifting points. There's also lifting clamps. And, uh, now lifting points, you'll see, like, do, you'll see signs, especially maybe on aircraft, uh, do not lift here, do not stand here, because there are certain points where it's fragile and, and certain points are designed to be lifted from. So, for instance, this would be a lifting point on top, for instance, a generator here. But there's also, well, these, um, uh, handling bosses, as they're called, or, or, or lifting bosses, which are specially designed so that you can lift the structure without going underneath and because once you lift something up you want to set it down you don't want the rope or the sling or the chain stuck underneath that's an important uh, feature of those so you, again you can if you lift something if you've got the rope there well the rope's stuck there once you set it down so uh, here are some Roman methods of masonry this is actually a, a Roman Lewis so this goes back 2000 years this was uh, uh lifting methods for masonry because when they were set, set setting blocks down you couldn't have a rope or a sling or a cradle underneath so what they had to do was the modern lifting industry is still using exactly the same principles that were used in ancient times because there's problem solving multi you know multiple people can come to the same problem solving solution because there are some what is it just you know Problem solving, you're going to get to the same solution because either by failure or logic, you know, this is how you do these things. Now, those are examples of Roman, so using a Lewis or a, or grips, a clamp like that. Now, they're good up to a certain limit, but if you want to lift a really heavy stone, what you would do is include a handling boss or a lifting boss on the side there. So for the heavy stones, and again, this is pretty well uh, documented, described in the ancient instruction books, textbooks on how to lift stone. So not just creating, not just the principles of how to get mechanical advantage and so that, so that uh, only a few people can lift many, many tons or one person can lift many tons uh, with just by their own own strength. That's mechanical advantage. Uh, it, it's, it's essential in ships rigging. In lifting and temple construction, uh, Heron, Vitruvius, uh, even Herodotus, they describe these techniques. Now, Vitruvius and Heron described not only the, the machinery, but the, they, they described that they understood the principles behind that, which is another big leap forward because you can just copy a machine, but if you understand the principles, then you can scale it up and you can alter it and use a little bit of problem solving, a little bit of creativity to create what exactly what you need for those uh, purposes. So that's a handling boss. Now we see, uh, it's not theoretical, it's not just written in the books, we see examples of it again now across the, the, the Greco-Roman classical period of history where we see examples of these handling bosses which would usually be scrubbed off later, grinded away, chipped away, but they're still in place. In some locations, now for instance, uh, uh, a proper layer in Athens where we still see the lifting bosses attached. Now if you look up handling boss, lifting boss, ancient stone, you'll even see countless really examples of them. So there we see ancient Greece and Rome, uh, Temple of Apollo in uh, Didy Didymia in Turkey, fascinating temple by the way, the Temple of Apollo. There's so much uh, so much going on there, uh, and because of the one of the temple uh, temple of Apollo never was completed, because, destroyed by an earthquake during construction, and because of that, if you look at in the morning and the afternoon when the sun is setting, you can still see traces where basically the blueprint the uh, of the temple and the scaling and the proportions is still etched in the stone. They weren't gr they haven't been grinded away as in other temples, but again we see the lifting bosses. Uh, some have been removed, but others remain.
and this was the, the just the preferred described recorded technique for lifting those stones in that part of the world um hasmonean uh so for instance herod herod employed greek architects to build the royal stoa his palaces and others we can see the style in there as well and well we still see evidence of the uh now there are some reasons also why it because you can hang things off them to say they're also useful later now some of them might have been in not used for a lifting point but were all well because there are other uses for it but they were definitely without doubt this was a method for lifting stones and settling it down because if you lift with a rope underneath it's going to get caught underneath you're stuck if you use a cradle you're stuck so that's how they did it that's quite recorded but we can also see evidence of these for instance the pyramid of Menkara where we see the uh, uh, unfinished casing stones and again we see these lifting handling bosses still in location now there for instance you can see the it's been grinded down now in antiquity it was how did they find the entrance well that sort of was a bit of a giveaway but I won't go uh, that's a separate topic uh, how for instance Al Mamun was able to dig a tunnel straight into the pyramid and gain access to it just what they knew exactly where to dig and one single tunnel there's not all these exploration tunnels all over the place they knew exactly where to begin and they drilled in and that's the the thieves or the robbers entrance so if you visit the great pyramid you don't go through the proper main entrance you go through the robbers tunnel which was a tunnel they just dug straight they knew exactly where to hit because they listened to the older descriptions of people visiting back in antiquity but as an example there we see again these lifting points now even um yeah descriptions but uh we also find these same things in south america now sometimes they're described as injection points now just be interesting uh like the form work well you know just like with the pyramid or uh in the parthenon in greece each one of these stones is individually shaped there's not a single stone that is exactly the same dimensions as the others they all have gentle curves in them which was an amazing ability that uh, is not just in the lost unrecorded parts of history but in the classic example for Parthenon and other temples they did not use square now it's often said oh but the Romans the Greeks they just use squared off stones it doesn't compare well, no they did not they actually use everything was curved every stone was individually set and um, uh, and so again we see examples of these nubs or handling bosses as um, like some are removed and some some are not because they also then are useful later for for other purposes as well and so these are just like in eight the ancient stone working people come to the same conclusions because that's just what humans do even when now i believe it was a, the trade and exchange of knowledge i believe that's much more older and more in depth than than what uh the, the, the generally accepted ver version of that is uh but it, even that to the side people come to the same conclusion because all people are smart and all people can solve problems and well how do you solve a problem and how do you lift a stone without getting a rope trapped underneath you use a handling boss a lifting boss and so um like with so many other things the greco-romans left records of how and how they did these things and they inherited inherited their knowledge from older civilizations especially through the library of alexandria uh, with uh, Strabo, Herodotus, and uh, Pliny and others who visited Egypt, they described uh, these things and also described how, pointed out, for instance, Heliopolis now in Cairo, that was a, formerly was the center of knowledge and astronomy and other, other things, but it had by then moved because the Egyptian, the capital, the center moved around in a few different places. but. There we see lots and lots of examples across the ancient world of of lifting these blocks and setting them in place. And so that's a handling boss or a lifting boss and basically still even in modern uses they are made like a skyscraper when they're lifting those big beams. They'll include a lifting point on there because depending on uh, how and what, what angle, well you, you need a lifting point and this is, you know, this is 
it's all over the joint and and again was described by the ancient history that we do have lovely records of but also well the same traces can be found so what, what's more likely uh, the thing is we don't know with a lot of old uh, where, there, where there's no clearly written record well we don't really know but Occam's razor how did they live now if they were lifting they had the same they had to solve the same problems that the Greeks and Romans were doing and uh, and well it seems to be there so handling boss lifting bosses and this uh, yeah it's it's it seems to be a thing um, and given that these examples exactly match the the later ancient civilizations how they achieved how they solved the same problems well I'll really leave up to you it can be oh, anyway have a good one lifting it's worth looking into lots of lots of ancient texts about it quite a lot about it some would say yeah that's a whole thing lifting